breaking tonight. Tens of thousands of migrants are making their way toward the U.S. southern border as we speak. The Panamanian government says most of those travelers are Haitian. Also tonight, new images of Americans' tax dollars wasted after the Biden administration takes new steps to specifically abandon a physical border wall championed by the previous administration. We have Fox team coverage tonight. Bill Malugin is in southern Texas, where authorities who are already overwhelmed by the surge are bracing for a new onslaught. But we begin with Griff Jenkins in Panama, a crucial gateway for the incoming migrants. Good evening, Griff. Good evening, Brad. We are the first TV journalist to come here to the Las Blancas migrant camp in southern Panama. It opened in May of 2020, and it is the same waypoint that most of those 15,000 Haitians passed through on their way to that bridge in Del Rio three weeks ago. So we came here to see where the border crisis begins long before it reaches the U.S. A pipeline of Haitian migrants streaming towards the U.S. begins thousands of miles south of the American southern border. Panama's foreign minister, Erica Muinez, says there are currently 60,000 migrants passing through her country, with another 20,000 waiting to cross from Colombia. But that crossing is through some of the most treacherous terrain on Earth, the Darien Gap. A lawless jungle, inaccessible by road, ruled by drug traffickers, smugglers, and bandits who prey on the migrants. It is the only break in the Pan American Highway from Alaska to the tip of South America, and many never make it through. They mention a lot of places. They talk about going down a hill, the hill of death. They also said that on some occasions, migrants had accidents. Now graves are dug in nearby towns like Agua Fria for those who perish along the way. Yet the International Organization of Migration says that more than 91,000 migrants have successfully made it through the gap this year as the pipeline has turned profitable on the Colombian side. Residents are being thrown out of their homes to make room for a place to stay for paying Haitians. Around 100 homes have been taken from local renters to give them to Haitians, and around 50 commercial locales have also been taken, or contracts have been ended to rent to Haitians. The next stop in their journey, shelters here in southern Panama that our cameras got an exclusive look at. You saw dead bodies? Yes, so many dead bodies. Really? Yes, it was. It was. It was. I was. I was really shocked when I saw them, and and I was like, wow, wow. Just forget about it. We just have to focus and do what we had to do. Brad, the conditions here in this camp are a humanitarian crisis, though the Panamanian officials are doing the best they can to deal with it. They say that some 500 to 1,000 migrants arrive every single day coming through that Darien Gap, but some 500 also leave on buses that you see behind me. That bus, just like many before it all day, goes straight to the Costa Rican border where they'll be let out to continue their journey. The cost for a ride, $40. Brett? Taking off now. Watch out for that bus. Griff Jenkins live in Panama. Griff, thanks. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.